see this. Superb control from Gary all the way through. And then suddenly, what every funny car driver dreads, a fireball. That engine that's in front of him has let go, causing that whole car. And he rolls. The car rolls. And where is Gary now? All we can see is smoke. The car's the right way up. Now there is an escape hatch in the roof. And that is Gary's only way out. There are on-board fire extinguishers. Here he comes. The Englishman is okay. He's going to be singed. Oh, he is okay. He's out of the car. And the thing, of course, in that car is that he won't have been able to breathe for a while. He would have been covered in foam to try and protect him from the fire. Now the fire crew get in there and eradicate the fire completely. Gary's checked by the medics as they arrive on site. qualifying spot. He knew he had to get that to retain the chance of the championship this year. But then all kinds of things go wrong. The team have got this car set up to run four seconds, 300 miles an hour. The chassis breaks right behind Barry Sheeble's cockpit. It drives him into the air as the rear wheels come underneath and then spits him out into the field at 280 miles an hour. A terrible crash. How is he feeling? So Barry, that's one of the worst accidents that I've ever seen in drag racing, but first of all, how are you? Um, amazingly, I'm okay. Up against Darryl Bradford and all manner of things went wrong. Watch this, the rear tyre explodes, takes away the rear wing and throws Mickey Cagre, barrel rolling, into the field at the top end of the strip. Parts coming off of that car. Russ, that was one of the worst crashes I think I've ever seen in my whole life in drag racing. Well, it was a terrible crash. You can see Mickey Cagrad was locked inside that safety uh, cage Fortunately, the car or the cage remained intact and Mickey did get out relatively unscathed but obviously was taken off to hospital and was not able to race for the rest of, rest of the meeting. Well, this is the most dramatic shot I think I've ever seen of a top fuel dragster crashing. That tyre blowing out, removing the rear wing, so any chance of control Mickey Kagrad had at that point in time uh, was then gone. And of course, he's then on a barrel roll what has happened here in actual fact is the drag racing car, the chassis, has done exactly as it's supposed to have done. All the bits have broken off and left Mickey sitting in that fuel cell. And from Daryl's point of view, here we are riding with Daryl. Russ, he was driving round the debris here. What a great driving job for him. Well, I suppose we can smile a little bit now that we know that Mickey's actually okay. But look at Daryl faced with the top fuel dragster blowing up in front of him. And he's driving around the parts. I mean, all credit to him. Other people could have panicked and just weaved off to the right. But fortunately, Daryl was fine. Oh, 
says Jason Phelps for the big explosion at the strike there. 470 at 230 miles an hour. Well, fuel funny cars are exciting for many reasons. Uh, alas, that is also one of them. I'm sure Jason's absolutely A-OK. -okay. He got the car stopped, no problem whatsoever. <laughs> doesn't win this he has to see what everyone else is doing oh wow Oof. thomas hudson oh. with an incredible wow. Wow. Oh, there you go left right oh, left wow. Oh, I put oh. two wheels in it, nearly did a 180 as well. I thought that's what he was going to do in the end, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but no, he did show us something completely Look at it, there different. we go. He's doing his dance now, look. Oh, yeah. This was other qualifying action. Near lane closest to the camera, that's Kev Slyfield. This is everybody's first runs of the year, don't forget. And it was a bad one for the man with the Willis from down there in the West Country. A huge accident. Unfortunately, the car got out of shape. shake for Liam, a great run for Maya Utian and Maya goes 3.806 to take the European record. Oh <laughs> yeah, my look at the, goodness. Look at the, speed look at the well. speed, 315.52 miles an hour. Oh, so close to a 370. Oh, well, goodness me. Looking for another event win. He's in the far lane against Patrick in the near lane. Oh, they're both shaking and pedalling and on fire as well. That's a big bonfire for Thomas. It does actually go out past the finish line. Still runs 429 at 271. Let's just watch that again. They both have tyre shake and tyre spin, and they both actually light it up at the same time. In top speed automotive street eliminator, 6.999, 210 miles an hour. Andy Bond and the team take a bow. That was super. Going up against the 38 coupe of Switzerland, Rolf Amarn, but then things suddenly go terribly wrong for Robert Houston. He's got one of the quickest cars. In fact, he was our number six qualifier and uh, it just went sideways and then uncontrollable just misses Rolf Amman and destroys itself on the retaining wall here at Santa Pod and he's doing quite a speed on his roof out of the car there he is perfectly okay thank goodness for that the, cl the crowd showed their appreciation First class out on track, it's FIA Pro Modified. And this was your number one qualifier, Mark Behusen. And talking of record pace, he ran a 5.91 in qualifying. Just goes to show what this track is going to be like in the future when more rubber is laid. A 6.30 was the win, but what happened to Jean Delamont? Well, let's look at this one in slow motion then. Boom! That's a big nitrous explosion there. Parts of carbon fibre and fibreglass going up into the air and our start line crew take cover as it floats its way back down to track. And yes, that's the hood scoop. Oh, they are both absolutely going for it here. Are we going to see it? Is it going to be low sevens? Is it going to be sixes? Oh, we've got it! We've got it! Jed Guy gets the one. Six point nine seven. And look at the speed, 193 miles an hour. Yep, not the start uh, to a racing weekend that, uh, that Gemma wanted. Very, very rare 
and bad occurrence here. Wow, right over the top, an incredible a lift off there for Rico Antes. He went right over. Peter Lentz takes the win with 5.33. It says a lot for the inbuilt safety of these machines that Roland Pratt got out of this accident with only bad bruises, even though the car was a write-off. but drama there on the start line a tremendous explosion all our safety services immediately on the uh, scene let's watch it again in slow motion and an absolute fireball off of the start line thank goodness for the uh, blower bags that uh, they have to put around the supercharger you can see it at the top of the screen there has restrained a lot of the flying debris but as we can see some major am engine damage there from uh, that car
run by Jason. The front wheel's well into the air on this one. Good job he backed off. He could easily have become airborne. You were in control. Oh, cool. I'm always in control. Number four, and they're away together. Mickey Carras out in front, and look at this. Wow, Stig Nearguard loses a rear wheel. The car spins out of control. The wheel going on its own here. And I thought for one minute that he was going to turn turtle, but no, he's perfectly okay. Point zero zero two reaction time from Mogens to Steve 08. He's trying everything shoulder to shoulder the whole way down, but it's Steve Venables who takes the win by a whisker. Race of the weekend, and just look at those speeds side by side, 210 miles an hour. Well done to the Ven Racing Team. Unbelievable, 262 miles an hour. Oh, a huge fireball for Mickey, and that's why they moved away from dragsters with the engine in front of the driver. Mickey completely unhurt, but a huge amount of rebuilding to do on that motor. A nitro cloud hanging in the air there. Super run. 599. Look at the speed, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. 250 miles an hour on two wheels for Rickard. My goodness <laughs> me. Only two people in the world have previously been over 250. Sixteen miles an hour to say they were loaded for bear is an understatement. <laughs> they all know both the same. Put something down here. That was just an incredible side-by-side -side run. Um, yeah, number one qualifier. Give them a massive cheer, the Anderson Racing Gang. Your new number one qualifier, 3.94, 316 miles an hour, the fastest speed we have ever seen. No, no testing at all. He almost runs like he never needs it. Matt Sarrington wheels in the air. Stormy Lodge and then all over the place. Oh, wow. Up on two wheels from side to side. Oh, I thought he'd save that. Matt slaps the wall and then just goes back across the racetrack and tags the other wall as well.
that is not pleasant at all. Oh, what a shock. That's one destroyed race car, folks. Some amazing footage here shot by an avid fan, John Angel, up on the spectator banking. Oh, Jill goes before the tree runs. Andy Bond will get a freebie, and he may still pass her. This will be actually quite a good race. Here we go. Let's see if Andy Bond can run her down. <laughs> he he can, and he has. And he goes oh. 6.99 <laughs> again. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. That is exceptional. 212 miles an hour. <laughs> Andy Bond has now done it twice. And uh, both of the sidelines together, Kenneth Soderstrom leaves him for dead, and then goes terribly oh. out of shape. Oh, dearie me. You don't often see a pro stock car crash like that. The wow. crew not looking very happy at all. Nice big bit of flame out the front of the fiber there. But, well, that uh, would have been the fuel tank letting oh, go as he hit the wall. Heavens. But uh, a huge turn to the right, and then maybe overcorrection. Just watch this again, Daryl. Look, look at this. Look, straight into the wall. And then, of course, at that point in time, Kenneth Soderstrom is not in control of the car. The car is in control of Kenneth. And, of course, the man in the opposing lane, Ulf Jonsson, has to drive round him. Well, I think Ulf Jonsson was already driving round him anyway. After Kenneth hit the wall, it scrubbed off a lot of speed. But the best thing and the best news is Kenneth Soderstrom is A-OK, -okay, just getting into the ambulance there to be checked out.